Today, uh, I want to show us also our recent project, and also I want to talk what I'm thinking after the March 11. In front of the strong power of nature, we are very weak. And the architecture is very weak in front of that kind of the amazing, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the power. The, and uh, it's very dark. <laughs> This is... Uh, uh, this one? What is that? Okay, <laughs> I found it. Uh, so, so I took this picture by myself and, uh, because I designed one building in this Ishinomaki city. And the Ishinomaki city became very famous because it was its most devastated, destroyed city by tsunami. And uh, I designed this... The, Canal Museum in Ishinomaki. And uh, this is the, my museum, but it's difficult to find. <laughs> because I tried to make this, this building disappear in, in this environment. And this is a, the, my museum, Canal Museum. And this is as a, as a, uh, uh, as a, as this shows the relationship with the, the river bank and my building. The, uh, the two thirds of this building is buried, and uh, and uh, the, as, so this is a plan. This is the Kitakami River. This is the Kitakami Canal. The one was already this canal in Japan, and the, and then as a as a client client as a uh, Ministry of Construction in Japan decided to build something here. As uh, my idea as a is as a how to delete architecture in this kind of beautiful environment. And this is a section. The left side is Kitakami River, and the right side is Ishinomaki City. And this is the entrance. But uh, it doesn't look like the building, and, uh, and uh, eventually tax, taxi driver cannot, cannot find the building very often. Uh, and uh, it, th those houses, as a, was as, a, as some of the houses were destroyed by tsunami, and the tsunami we waves it was was coming up to this this side of the building, but was, but we are very lucky, and the building itself was was okay. And, uh, and this is the bottom of the building. So my idea is, is the building is merging into environment. And that these big windows is, uh, uh, doesn't separate exterior and interior. Uh, you can see the line. This is the such lines. And uh, I, I want to make this museum as open as possible. <laughs> and the uh, next project is the Hiroshige as a museum. Hiroshige is a very famous ukiyo-e artist. Is a, of Japan, 19th century, and uh, Hiroshige gave a big influence on the Vincent Van Gogh and uh, and other impressionism impressionism artists, because the Hiroshige, the, the the most famous the work of him is uh, about rain, and the, the his space is very transparent, as uh, he tried to. As a shows a, as a harmony between nature and human, and uh, that philosophy and that method influenced the Cezanne, the Gogh, and other artists is in, in Europe. And the reason to is uh, uh, so we designed the uh, scenography of Van Gogh in Milan, and, uh, and the, the reason why I was selected for the design of the, uh, the, this setup was the influence from Hiroshige to Van Gogh. So, uh, the, this building, the, the, the first impression, uh, inspiration came from the rain of Hiroshige. And uh, so there are many, many lines on the roof and the, by wood. And another important method I did is to cut the building, to create the hole like that. So, uh, the hole is always as a, as a most important method for us. 
that I want to explain the importance of the whole. This is uh, Satoyama, and this is the center of town in Japan. Th and uh, this structure, uh, so this urban design, is, is very standard in, in, in Japanese villages and towns. The, because that Satoyama, and Satoyama meaning is village mountain, as a, as a life of the people as a, uh, was very much relied on the natural resources of Satoyama. Uh, because as a material for the building came from Satoyama, and energy came from Satoyama, as, uh, they cut the wood and as a for, as a, uh, as a uh, burning the wood for uh, cooking as a, and, the sh and showers and 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 also the fertilizer came from Satoyama, and then the total life of the people was relied on Satoyama, and then they built shrine in Satoyama at the age of Satoyama. So this is a very strong message: don't destroy Satoyama. This is a message of Shrine. And always, the village centers, Satoyama and Shrine, the, those three elements, was, was layouted, layout like that. And, uh, but in 20th century, sadly, the people forget Satoyama because of Tokyo. The, everybody was, was uh, watch, watch, watching Tokyo. And uh, because the everything came from Tokyo, energy, as material, and the human resources, and the, as everything. And the, they didn't need Satoyama anymore. And the Satoyama was abandoned, uh, and the shrine became the ruin. I think this was very, very sad, because if people forget nature, the, it means the, the people forget themselves. And uh, my idea for the building is to cut the building. And the entrance is here. But uh, the mayor was against my idea. They said, parking, we, this, we built parking here. The entrance should face the parking. But I said, no, 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 no. The parking is just parking. As a, and Satoyama is the most important element of the village. And uh, then the entrance should be here. And cut the building. And uh, I want to show the whole, the whole as again. Uh, the, this is the whole, which connect town and nature. And the function of this whole is to remind people the importance of Satoyama. The, and that after, mm, oh, it is very dark. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is a uh, as a whole we designed for as uh, reminding Satoyama, as uh, the white, triang tri white tri triangle shows uh, the position of entrance. And another important thing for this design is material. The most of the material came from Satoyama. So, uh, and the, the, the reason of using local material is to activate the local economy and, uh, and also activate local artisanship. And uh, as a, as a, if not, the, the, the local economy dis will disappear soon and uh, as artisan will be, be gone soon. This is the biggest problem for small town in Japan, not only in Japan, everywhere. So I want to explain the material. The wood came from Satoyama Mountain. The paper, the, the artisan of this place made those papers, and the, the quality is very close from this building. And then the, 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 the short circuit of material, short circuit of the economy is, uh, uh, we, uh, we can get again by this building. And uh, so we designed furniture and everything of this building. And we try to create transparency and uh, super juxtaposition. Those ideas as, uh, as, uh, came from 
Hiroshige art. And another material I want to show. As a, this is Adobe. As a, Adobe is not the name of software. <laughs> Adobe is this material. As a, in this village uh, in Yamaguchi, as a, as a, this, as a, uh, this was my first visit to this pl place, I found this interesting building. This is a solid earth. As a, and as a, and uh, it's a very, very primitive construction method. This is called adobe. And uh, so even for the wall, they use the same method, adobe. And, uh, but people for already for forget that method. So, and we this, uh, so, uh, brings a very good uh, plaster worker. So, and he made the, this adobe block from the site. And there's another short circuit. Material was not coming from as a, uh, anywhere else. The site itself is a material of this building. And then, the, the eventually, the building became the part of the site. And uh, this is the contents of the building. This is a national treasure, one of the national treasure, the wooden Buddha of 12th century. And the good thing for using those the adobe is adobe itself can control humidity and temperature of the of the building. And then uh, we didn't the put as air conditioning system in in that building. The same as this is a building. As I like this building, there's no air conditioning. Probably very hot in summer, but but it is very natural. The another material is bamboo. As a, as a, you have bamboo as well, but in Japan we have many bamboo forests. But as a, to use bamboo for the building was very difficult. And my idea, the idea of my structure engineer, is to use bamboo for the full work of concrete. As a, as a insert steel steel pipe into as a bamboo. And then the, uh, the putting the concrete in this as a formwork, and then as a if bamboo has as a cracked as a if as a afters, as a main structures as still remains. And uh, this is a mock-up. We, we always as a prepare for the building. I, I basically I don't believe the drawing. So I always trust the real mock-up. And uh, this is a bamboo house. And, uh, please forget neighbors. <laughs> this of neighbors, the typical Japanese houses. And uh, floors, and floor is, is also made by bamboo screens. And then uh, people can communicate through the floors. This is very convenient for for the people. And uh, we uh, so adapt this idea to the project in China. The site is very, very unique. Great wall is a site. So this is a great, this is a great wall, you know. So, so we kept the landscape. If not, the green disappeared. The building is, is following the the curve of landscape, and uh, and the great, great wall again, so, and. As a, as a finally, as a we could create uh, my favorite space, this. So this is another type of hole, another type of void, the empty space. As a, this kind of empty space is, is to communicate with environment. In Asian philosophy, the void is most important. The, in, in Japanese and in Chinese, void is called ku. As a, as a coup is most important. Solid is not so important. The volume is not important. Emptiness and void is very important. And that this is a kind of void. And uh, as the next buildings, I want to show the use of wood. Because the wood is my favorite material. And, and, and also, I think the, to use wood is very good for as an environment. 
to reduce the, the quantity of CO2, the wood is very effective. The, this is a small pavilion we designed in Milan, in Milan as a Palazzo Sforzano, as a, inspired by the, this toy for kids. As a, this is a very, very as a simple toy. The three kind of sticks, the three different the joint system. Uh, if the, you tr twist it, the, we can fix it. And without any nail and without any glue, the, we can the, build the, the, any shape. As a, it's, as a, it's, a, it's a kind of logo system, but a Lego system, but as a, it's much better than Lego system. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the, the, we made, we asked the Japanese carpenters to prepare those sticks, and, uh, and our student the, could build by themselves. And uh, after the, the, this, uh, the small pavilions, the, my dream is to realize the permanent building by the use of this system. So in my university, Tokyo University, my structural engineer, Professor Sato, tested this material. And his the conclusion is, if the dimension of this wood is 6 centimeter by 6 centimeters, and the grid is 50, uh, 50 centimeters, so we can build 10 meters building. Uh, this is uh, the first drawing, and this is a, a result. And this is the interior. And uh, the, you cannot see glass. The glass is, is, as, uh, is, is actually here, but uh, it is almost invisible. And, uh, and the next step is, uh, is to make the bridge uh, by the use of similar structural system. This is the bridge. It is a wooden bridge. And uh, our idea is that this is, is, a, uh, is, a, is a bridge, but actually the people can use this space for exhibition, museum, and also the, uh, the part of the building is actually here. As a, there is a small as a, as a hotel, and people can stay the bridge. This is a museum part of the bridge. This is a hotel part of the village. And uh, in the same village, Yusuhara is the name of the as a place as uh, we have working more than 20 years. As a, as a newest project was a hotel as a, uh, the inspired by this thatch roof as a tea house. As a, this is a small hotel, as a, but the material so the facade is thatch, the block of thatch. And, uh, and another as a, as a, um, problem is uh, thatch used to be very cheap material in Japan. A, to find the, uh, uh, the artisan of thatch is very, very easy. Everywhere they are working, but now they are disappearing. And, uh, and uh, then I decided to uh, uh, develop this method. And this is very good insulation material. And, uh, and visually, it is very warm and soft. And uh, in, in, inside of this hotel, as, uh, we propose to have the vegetable as, as, a, as a small market. And uh, this is a backside of thatch. So I always uh, uh, try to find the new material, but uh, as, uh, even for the Starbucks company. <laughs> the, the Starbucks, is so usually they designed by themselves. But uh, for this special location, Dazaihu Tenmangu Temple, uh, temple is uh, built 919. It's a very, very old temple. As a, as a Starbuck decided to ask us to design a very special Starbucks. <laughs> this is temple. 
this is uh, the main approach to the temple. And uh, this is not interior design. So we built the, the, the building itself by the use of this unique structure system. As a, and this is not decoration. This is a wooden as a frame is supporting the building. Uh, this is a system. As a, as a four sticks meet at this point, and as a, we fix those four sticks by the use of the, the stainless pin. And uh, this is interiors, the, and, uh, and the Starbucks people as a, uh, as a claimed as the, uh, this is too expensive for Starbucks. And, uh, but as, uh, after the completion, the many as, uh, customers are coming here, then they are very happy. And, uh, and Starbucks is, uh, actually asked me to deliver lectures in their Seattle headquarter. And, uh, the Seattle headquarter, there's uh, many, many designers, architects are there. That, that they said, we are designing 3,000 Starbucks a year, just in a year. They are designing 3,000 Starbucks. And uh, that means every day they, they are designing 20 Starbucks. And, uh, and, uh, but the, uh, the they want to the, uh, cre create the unique Starbucks in futures, and uh, uh, I think it's still very difficult. <laughs> this is, uh, they, they thought this is an example of the new type of Starbucks. Uh, and uh, next step, I always going to one step to next step. The, this is important. The, the building so is the series of effort, as a, not a single project. As a, this project is for as a Taiwanese the pineapple cake company. It's a very successful cake, pineapple, uh, pineapple cake. And uh, they said so they are using the real pineapple. <laughs> that means another pineapple cake was uh, not using pineapple. And uh, the, the pineapple is, a, uh, so when they came to my office, the, and they asked, uh, the, I, and I the immediately found the solution. The <clears throat> vertical version of Starbucks probably looks like pineapple. And then <laughs> I found this shape. But the realization of that idea is very difficult. As a, as a Starbucks is a one-story building, as a, but this is a three-story building. As a three floors are supported by this structure system. And uh, the, this structure system is called uh, as a, as a, uh, dia, a joint diablo, the joint of hell. As, uh, because if it's once fixed, never as uh, take apart, and, uh, and then it's a very as a strange name. As I want to explain this as a uh, joint system, very very complicated. <laughs> and this is interior. And this is a nighttime views. And uh, please look at the, those floors. This as a structure system is supporting the three floors. And, uh, and it has, uh, even for Japanese carpenters, this is very, very complicated system. To find, find the carpenter is really, really difficult for the project. As the uh, next project is the uh, Asakusa Culture Tourist Information Centers. As, uh, the site is uh, as, uh, just sit next to old temple. Or the shrine. So I like that kind of uh, unique site, con unique condition. The temple and the gallery, the gate, and my site. So, so this is first proposal. The seven wooden houses stacking to make 40 meters tower. And uh, this is a section. <clears throat> and the good thing for this section is the, in each floor, so you can feel 
I'm sitting in the one-story wooden house. Very cozy, comfortable, and the, this, the, from here to here, so we can maximize the height. And uh, this is a perspective. And the Asakusa area, I recommend you to visit this area. Still, the, this kind of geisha-style lady is walking <laughs> this, this area. And uh, the, this is a... Uh, this is the real the final photo. This is not a rendering. The temple, gallery, gate, and my building. And this is the tallest tower in Tokyo, 600 meters. But I don't like the, that kind of tower. This is a small theater so on the, in the fifth floor of the building. This is a, as a penthouse. And uh, this is the tallest towers. But, uh, the, but uh, I call it, this is a tower of 20th century. <laughs> and uh, as a, as a, because in 21st century, uh, to go back to the, the smallness, human scale, back to nature is very important. And, uh, and this kind of the tower is not so necessary in our time. And the next project is a new type of city hall in Nagaoka. As uh, I want to explain the, as the context of the place. It's a village train station. And this is the main street. But as a main street, you can see the shutters as a, and empty sh stores because Outside of the, the town, there are many big shopping centers. Probably the same is, happens here in, in Brazil. As a main as a street, the city centers, is, it was not active at all. And as the mayors of this the Nagaoka city decide to as a, re, reactivate the city centers by moving the city hall from outside, outskirt to the center. And uh, our proposition for this scheme is to create the DOMA space. DOMA is, uh, I want to explain. DOMA is, a, is a, this kind of semi-outdoor space in the farmer's house. The farmers were, sometimes they are working here, sometimes they are cooking here, this is kitchen. Uh, the, the, the cooking and eating, drinking here. And also, the, as the people, village people, the, can get in this Doma space. And uh, this is uh, very public, as a, and very as a, uh, friendly, as open space. As a, this is a Doma so we designed for this city hall. And the material is earth, the, not stone not tile. The material of the floors is very important for the building. And also, the, uh, the, this is, was connected with the billet train station directory. And the, after the completion, the kids are coming here to do homework. As a, they said, uh, so we hate the house, and we hate it. So they, they come to here to study. And the elderly are also gathering here uh, to communicate, to talk with the friends. As, a, as basically, the elderly, well, the same thing happened here, as are going to the hospital to meet the friends, but here they are coming to the city hall to meet friends. And we designed those uh, uh, kiosks as uh, this is uh, Alina, so it's connected with this Doma space. There's a photobole lake panels on top. And uh, the, this is a sports arena is connected with this Doma space as a, it's a ping pong as a, and, uh, and anytime as a, the people in the city are gathering here to play ping pong, to do homework, to the NPO people as are coming to here for dance. And the assembly hall is also open to the public. The people are watching 
the politicians, because politicians as a, as a should be watched like that. <laughs> Especially the politicians in the countryside is very dangerous. <laughs> and, uh, and, and material, so again, we use the specialized papers as a, it, it stay in white snow to make it whiter. And then the, the rice paper here is very, very white. And the earth, rice paper in the snow, and, uh, sil and uh, so we designed this sofa by paper, by rice paper. And, uh, and uh, the farmers are producing beautiful silk. And this silk fabric was used for the counter. As a, so again, to use local material as a, is activating the local economy. And uh, it's a new project. It's a, uh, the, it's the newest building in Tokyo University. As a, I, so we cut the building here, as a, again, to connect nature and city. And uh, the, the, the facade is twisting as a, to draw people the, into this hole. So this is a facade. This is as a, as a facade itself, not straight. It's as a, as a twisting. And uh, the material itself is very as a classic material. Cedar and, uh, and there's a cedar plank. But the, with the computer as a technology, we can make it, so we can design it and, uh, and like that. And so every panel has a different patterns and, uh, and we calculate the density of this facade. This is a hole which connects nature and city. This is classroom. And uh, in European context, as uh, we as, uh, try to adapt the, our idea uh, to the place. This is a, a, a place for the cultural center Besançon. This is uh, close from France and as, 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 uh, to Swiss. And we kept this building. As, uh, the old building itself is the protagonist of the, of the project, and we add uh, the various, uh, the subtle, humble wooden building. As, uh, please look at this hole. So again, the hole is connecting. The hole is drawing the people to nature. And, uh, and uh, in uh, this kind of space in Japan, as we call engawa, and the engawa is uh, the terrace the between interior and exterior. This is a hole. The old building, the rooftop, and Marseille project as a foundation, uh, the contemporary art regional foundation. As a, so again, the small element, local material. So we found this material in the, the small glass factory in Marseille, and as a empty space. Like that. So I, we want to avoid solidness. So I, 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 I hate solid wall. So I prefer this kind of porous as a friendly as a particles. And in Aix-en-Provence, in France, as a, as a, as a, I found the, as a very good aluminum, play, aluminum factory. They can create this kind of as a, the pleats of aluminum. As a, as a, this pleats is to avoid natural light, because the example of natural light is very strong. And, uh, 
and uh, the, and also the another source of inspiration is art of Cezanne. You know Cezanne, the uh, Saint Victoire mountain, mountain Saint Victoire, as we are inspired by his method. In the interior, as a, is as a, is a kind of origami method. You know origami is a folding papers. It's a, it's a kind of origami. As a, it's a newest project. As a, as a, as a, and and then as a, as a picture is not professional pictures, but I, as I want to show this project. Uh, this is a, a as a. Uh, um, Antrepot McDonald's as a 1970s is a long, long f as a as a warehouse in north of Paris, and OMA designed the master plan. The 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 six architects are working together, as a, we are designing the the edge ends of project. As a, another oligami idea, as a, the, this oligami, this holding loop, is connecting. Those has a multi functions, and other architects are basically boxes. But as a, as a, our idea is, as a holding the as a uh, origami, and uh, and this is very different from the approach of other French architects. And uh, the image is not professional, as, as, uh, and and uh, in Spain. The Granada, as, uh, we won the competition for Opel House. So we found this uh, pomegranate, as uh, you know, these fruits, <laughs> so my favorite fruits. <laughs> and uh, another is a favorite building, Alhambra Palace, is in Granada. So I found this beautiful geometry in Alhambra Palace. As uh, this is not a perpendicular. This is a very Arabic, interesting so geometry. The from fruits and from the uh, Alhambra Palace, I found this shape. The the those the uh, hectagon, uh, the hexagonal the, uh, the honeycomb shape is supporting the building. So we try to avoid column. And beam structure, and, the, and there's a, there's a, these honeycomb structures, the, you can feel even in the auditorium. That is important, I thought. In the auditorium, people feel I am in the honeycomb, and also the, this is the, uh, the honeycomb, the cell, they are dividing the space, and the, for the every project. I try to achieve smallness. And uh, in Asakusa buildings, we divide the building by the use of loops. By the, in this building, we divide the whole as a volume by the use of as a hexagonal geometry. Uh, to achieve human scale is always important. And to achieve the natural material is, of, of course, important. And the natural human scale is a, is a goal of this project. And uh, as a newest project, as, a, as Victoria and Albert at Dundee, Scotland, as a Victoria Albert, London, as, a, as a, this beautiful cliff is very close to the site, as a, another small scale. As a, I, I found a good example of dividing the big volume into small scales. As this is my first sketch. The building is floating. In the in the river. This is this is a site. Uh, this is as a what as a ocean is almost here, as a, as a and then as a, this is very very quiet water. As a city is here, city center is here. This is Union Street, and again, we have hole. This hole is connecting nature and the city. And the small scale, as uh, and uh, and the local material as possible. So this is uh, the Hawaii, so, so of the Hawaii as a museum, 
But my idea, why is should be used for performance, dance, and the concert, as a, this space can be used. And uh, besides those bigger projects, as uh, I want to show you the smaller project, as, a, as a which we did with my student. For uh, architectural education, the, those kind of small pavilion is very helpful, I think, as a, because as a uh, as a student can make those pavilion by themselves, by their own hands. Uh, this is a stone pavilion in, in Italy. As a, we tr as a tr try to achieve the thinness of the stone, and the, in Italy it is possible. And the, we go to next step as a, as a, as a, by another material. It is aluminum, extruded aluminum. And, uh, and finally, we built aluminum house by the use of this system. This is aluminum house. The structures of aluminum triangular as a as panel is strong enough to support the house. And so this is a section, and each as a as a this is the entrance. <laughs> this is a bedroom. And this is a living room. There's a and as a as a, it is very different definition. Section is function. And the students are making by themselves. And this is kitchen. And one single unit that can make everything. So I like that idea because our body is like that. So, as so we have the organs, the stomach, lung, but the element unit is always cell. And this is this is life. But architecture is, uh, is, is, uh, is uh, always different. And uh, I want to make architectures only by single cell. As, uh, another single material is ceramic tile. And in this ceramic tile project, as, uh, we use ceramic tiles not for cladding, for Structure. So we tested the ceramic tiles, and it is strong enough to support the building. And uh, this is a <coughs> as a, this part, as you can see, the structures. And uh, the the reason why we call it. Cloud, uh, because cloud is, uh, is, uh, consists by small, small particles, but totally, as a, it as a, can show the change of light and the change of as a time, and as a, then we call it cloud. As the next project is a as a, the small pavilion. As a, which as, has a, can as a transformed like according to the change of temperature. If temperature is cold, the shape is like that. Temperature is hot, so we have the round shape. Because we use temperature memory alloy. It's a sub special uh, alloy so, uh, which change is hardness according to the temperature. This is the structure. Very th as a the diameter of the alloy is a, is a metal is just two millimeters, and this is soft enough to change the shape and almost a transparent. <laughs> and this is a as a as a result. This is entrance. And uh, the project, the last project I show you today is Casa Umbrella Project. As uh, if you can understand Japanese, you can understand the meaning of this um, project. Uh, because in Japanese, 
the umbrella is called kasa, as a, as a way of carrying kasa. But in Italian, as you know, the kasa means house. And the theme of the, this project is uh, uh, Casa de Tutto, as a, as a house for everybody. As a, and immediate, immediately I decided to use umbrella for the house. Uh, this is uh, the basic idea. The, we designed a special umbrella, and if the 15th umbrella uh, gathers, so we can build this house. Uh, this joint has a zippers, zipper joint, and the zipper joint is strong enough to support this temporary pavilion. And uh, probably you know the Buckminster Flowers, the geodesic dome, but the geodesic dome is basically supported by the flame. But the big difference of this structure system is we use both frame and membrane. And membranes is, sub, is, is a, for tension. And the flame is for compression. It's a, and then it's, a, it's very similar to the tensegrity structure system. Working together to support this small pavilion. And uh, this is a very unique umbrella we designed. <laughs> and uh, this uh, as a triangular piece is very important. This is because this is a window of the house. And the 15 student gathers and they start to build the house. It's happened in Milan, the Milan Triennale. And uh, after a few hours, they completed this house. This is interior. And uh, I, I, I said the three as a, as a as a triangular is working as window. This is window. And uh, all the joint is is fixed by zipper. As uh, you see, uh, the detail of the joint. It's still umbrella. <laughs> and uh, the student wants to uh, stay in this pavilion. I said, yes, please. <laughs> and uh, they has a, uh, eat and drink. As a, and it's, it's big enough for 15 students. And uh, the basic idea for this is, uh, umbrella house is <clears throat> if something happens, for example, tsunami happens, earthquake happens, so we should escape uh, uh, by uh, the carrying the umbrella. And if the same umbrella you find, the 15 umbrella can make one house, one refugee house. The, this uh, this is a uh, this is between uh, the products and the, the architecture. So I try to find the uh, something between architecture and the pr small products. And the, uh, this is the material. So I always uh, try to find the something small and something natural. And uh, contemporary technology, this is not nostalgic, I think. We, uh, so anyway, we got uh, many hints from traditional small architectures. But what I'm doing is try to find a new solution for uh, the seeking smallness. And uh, in 20th century, as a, and still, the big as a, as a developers and big capitals are trying to find the, the bigness, tallness. And in Shanghai, Beijing, you can see the, the many, many examples of bigness. But the, for human body and human experience, the smallness and the naturalness is more and more important, I think. Thank you very much. <laughs>